Wednesday morning at five o'clock as the day begins. An old-fashioned waltz with an old-fashioned throbbing cello and a plashing harp and a modulation to the dominant. Uh, and then this arching little tune, which is full of hope and regret. Wilfred Mellers, composer and professor of music, was mocked in the 60s for taking the Beatles seriously and suggesting their music would last. This uh, balance between the hopeful dreams of adolescence and the regret of age is most beautifully encapsulated in the coda to this little song. The parents are singing, we gave her everything that money could get, we struggled hard all our lives to get by and so on, and then she's leaving her something inside that was always denied for so many years, and this is going on simultaneously. But then in the little coda, after you've had the repeat of the refrain to you. It goes... Why is that so subtle? Well, the effect is that it's been going sharpwards. From there, door going sharpwards, upwards, full of hope, you see. But then the actual cadence is an amen. It's what is called a plagal cadence. And so that flattens us down. And you get that wonderful balance between the two. Well, that, I'm sure, was absolutely instinctive. I don't... The Beatles didn't say, oh, let's have a dominant modulation followed by a plagal cadence. Uh, but that's genius, you see. I mean, that's, uh, that's how it happens.